know about them? First of all, they're they're experienced. They've got nine seniors. Uh, they're very good transitionally. They've got a, they got high end skill. They got one of the better goalies in the country, Mike Lee, and they're actually they're split between him and Dunn, and they really solidified the. They've really solidified a very good defensive core. They've got good versatility on their defensive core. You know, Jensen is is a freshman, and watching him on tape, he looks like an all-league defenseman right now. Um, Taylor Johnson's a good player. Uh, then they got uh, guys like Hep and Lordson, kind of they're their their defensive defensemen. So I, they got good size. They got a good blend of skill and size. And again, it's the WCHA. It's uh, there's not a lot of flaws, there's not a lot of holes. I know they're frustrated with their start right now. They wish they could get more consistency out of their team, but they're a team that uh, they're extremely dangerous. They're extremely dangerous. They've got a good power play. They spread the rink out very well, mostly on that big Olympic ice that they have. So we have to be cognizant of that. I mean, that's one area of our game right now that's been uh, work in progress is our penalty killing uh, group. And we knew that going in, when you lose McGelvey and Malarkey, who have been the backbone of our penalty kill for the last three years. We knew there would be issues. Uh, we just have to make sure, again, we we try to rectify that little problem as quick as we possibly can. With that said, how do you feel like you guys match up with them? Well, I don't know, Eric. It's always concerning to me when we go on Olympic sheet. Even though we've won a few games now on Olympic guys, we won in Minnesota last year. We swept in Mankato a couple years ago. We won in Northern last year. We tied in Northern. As much as we played decent on Olympic ice over the course of the last couple of years, it's something in the back of my mind that, um, in the back of my mind that you're always a little concerned with, just because again we we're we're a very we're a very aggressive team. We pressure the puck very hard, and sometimes on Olympic ice you can take yourself out of the play. So there's a happy medium, and you, the last thing you want to do is you don't want to deviate from the way you play. But uh, we have to be we have to make sure that we realize where we're at on the, on, on the rink, where we're, where we're at in the rink on Olympic ice, because again, you can really, again, you can be, you can overcommit and you can be too overly aggressive, if that makes sense. First road trip of the year, is it a good time to take a road trip? We need a road trip. I just, I think it is, it's a great time for a road trip. We've been home for a month, even though we only had four games. You know, I always take a look at when the season started, and it was October 1. So we've been home for a month, and it's time to get on the road. Ideally, you like to either have your first weekend or your second weekend on the road. And, uh, again, it's just been kind of a crazy schedule so far for the Beavers, but it's, it's a good time for a road trip. October 1st month in uh, what do you like about your team right now? Well, I, I think I'd like – it's what I like about our team all along. We have a we we have a bunch of world class kids who work extremely hard. They're very dedicated. They're very passionate hockey players, and I think we're getting better. I take a look at the last three games. I'm very very impressed with how our guys have adapted. You know, the first game was a tough game for a lot of different reasons. Game two, we gave ourselves a chance to win. Uh, we just got beat by a better hockey team. And uh, this past weekend, I thought we played very, very well. I'd like to see us score a few more goals, but I think goal scoring is going to be very difficult for us all year. It's very tough for most teams in college hockey. Um, but I was very happy to almost sneak out two points, but we got the one point. So that that would be pretty good when you factor in we didn't give up a five-on-five -five goal all weekend. Top line really continues to carry play with uh, I and Matt and what do you got to say about that line? Well, they're one of the better. I think they're just one of the they're one of the better lines around. I I, I just think they've uh, they've got talent. They've got grit. Uh, they've got versatility. You got a playmaker in George. You got uh, Reed, who's kind of your crafty playmaking, greedy centerman, and you got your shooter in low. I mean, we, we they kind of all the pieces are in place with that line. Our biggest concern is getting secondary scoring, and that's I think you take a look at a lot of the teams in the WCHA. They have secondary scoring, so. We're going to have to try to continue to manufacture that.